Welcome to game night tonight. Today we are going to be playing Firefly the game. As always, I'm Brady Anderson. We have with us Skeletor. Not this week. Oh. This week I'm a reaver. He's a reaver. He still looks like Skeletor to me. But Quite whatever. Hey, 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 hey now, hey now. So this, if you if this would look familiar to you if you've seen the the TV series, there is a TV series that this game is based on. It's also based on a movie. Serendipity is the that's the name of it, right? Serendipity. <laughs> Serendipity. Oh my gosh. That was terrible. So Serendipity has nothing to do with this. Don't get that wrong. Serenity is the movie. But those two are what is going to make up this game right here. It's a lot of fun. Um, I've not actually played this game. I played it for maybe like 10 minutes uh, last time he tried to show it to me. So this is the first time I'm actually going to be playing it all the way through. So I'm pretty excited. It's going to be fun. He's going to be taking the lead on how to how this game is going to go down. So hit it up. Let's go. All righty. So... For this game, I mean, there's a lot to set out, there's a lot to do. Basically, if you've seen the show before, you know, it's basically a motley crew of space pirates trying to get some jobs done. They're just doing job after job. They'll take from clients, get the job done, try and get paid. That's the whole premise of the show. Uh, that's the premise of the game, too. So you have a captain, you pick a ship, and that's all we've got now. Right now, he is Miss Nandy. Nandy is my character here. Um... I have the Bonnie May is my ship right here, and it is represented by blue out here in the space. I have a drive core of five, and then I already have my fuel and some of my parts. And I, of course, am Captain Malcolm, because I wanted to be. And uh, I've got the Serenity, thus the movie name. Not Serendipity, don't get that wrong. And I've also likewise got all that. Now, there are several different scenarios you can play with this game, a lot of replayability. We're picking... The, ser the one that they choose for you to really do the first time. It's called First Time in the Captain's Chair because... It's my first time in the Captain's Chair, first so time you know. In the Captain's Chair. You know. This game is quite big already. Believe it or not, there I believe are four extra boards you can buy that increase the size along with several other cards. So this game just gets massive. We've already filled up an entire table here as you can see so imagine the possibilities of all these other expansions i i can't even fathom it because this is already enough for me and that's crazy but it's usually something you play on the living room floor while watching a movie and eating popcorn hey you know maybe serenity hey uh, the, the premise the one we're starting with first time in the captain's chair um you finally got a ship and basically what's happened is is we've got our ships and we bought them on a loan and now we need to pay them back alone so the ships are ours and we can just get started in our career of taking random jobs so uh the first thing we get is three thousand monies oh three thousand monies okay so i've got my monies over here so each of us will take three thousand for you and a three thousand for me and we already did this before this but as part of the setup that we had we initially got to go through some of the the different jobs over here so we have the jobs we have the locations and uh, obviously our ship and everything like that and the, the stuff we're going to be collecting so if um, you go here for instance you can see badger he is right here and these are the jobs you can get from that contact likewise if you go to someplace like here it has both m and dual up uh, here, so you can get jobs. It also has Space, space Bazaar, Bizarre, which is a which location where you can find crew members, items, parts for your ship, things of that nature. Uh, so we are going to be traveling all over the universe here, known as the Verse in the, the game. But we've already gone through, because we got, we got to pick one of each of these, right? And then we get to choose, ultimately, which ones we keep. Um, I chose to only keep these two, since uh, Nandy here, she is moral, right? She is moral, which means that I don't do any illegal stuff, right? Uh, you can is that do correct? illegal, just I mean, I can, immoral. but like if there I do immoral things stuff. things that are illegal, but still moral in the game. If you do anything immoral... She gets unhappy. If she gets unhappy twice, she fires everybody and you basically have to... I don't want to do that. I don't want to fire my crew. So I'm going to be doing all the legal stuff, which is why I stuck with these two. So I am likewise a moral character. 
So I did the same thing. I got two jobs. Neither one is immoral, and both are legal little transport jobs. Yeah. Playing it safe right now. Playing it safe. Playing it safe. I don't want to lose my crew. I don't even have a crew, but I don't want to lose it. Right. So here's what we're going to do. So the first thing, and I'm going to take my turn first so he can kind of see how it goes. And uh, the way that you're going to take your turn first, if you've seen the show... You get the joke. You get the joke. Yeah. Why is it a dinosaur? Arr, Look arr. it up. Look it up. You got to watch the show or yeah. watch Serenity. That's the last time we're going to be passing that, though. It was just a joke for everybody in the know. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. I am at the Space Bazaar, and Amundul is also there, so I can do... Two actions out of four possibilities. I can either just work and get 200. Doesn't take a job. Just do any random job. You get 200 credits. I don't think I'm going to do that. I can look at jobs. I can, or do a job. I can look at purchasing stuff, and that's purchasing those, fuel, parts, everything. That's all part of the purchase. Or I can fly. Those are my four things I can do. I can only pick two in a turn. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to look at the Space Bazaar. Okay, so he's got these different options here. Now I can consider up to three, but only choose two to do. Now what does considering mean? I can consider these three, in which case I don't pull any off the top of the stack over there. I actually don't like anything there, so I'm going to pull three off the top of the stack. So that means we basically just are trashing these, right? Yep, and those are still there. For they're still there. Because they're still at the location, I'm just passing them by as, as myself. Got it. So now I look at these three, and ooh, speaking of for those in the know... We have the guy who plays with dinosaurs. I really like this character. I, he is a pilot. I am already a pilot, but he adds one to my, my fuel burn. So I'm going to actually pay the 200 price okay. to purchase him. So, um, Mr. Banker. And when you do this, like you can actually buy how many of them? Two. Okay. I'm also going to be grabbing Jane's hat. Oh, he's free. Got it. And that just goes there. Now, Jane's hat is an equipment. Luckily, Jane's hat does not count as equipment because it says it doesn't count towards the equipment gear limit. Does not count towards gear limit, the bottom there. But it lets me misbehave when aiming to misbehave, which we will go over when we get to it. Perfect. So I will take that. You sure you did that right? Five, six, seven, eight. And then he was zero, right? Because he was he 200. Was 200. Right. And I mean, you gave me a 1,000. 3,000. You gave me a 2,000. Oh, that was 2,000. I thought that was I'll 200. Um, no, no, um, you will not. No, I will not. Um, okay. okay. I need to give you... Uh, what are we at? So you... that's 1,100. So I, I need to be up to 1,800. Yep, I'm getting there. No, not 1,800. Because I was at 3,000. So I just need... It was 1,000, right? Yeah, it was 1,000. So I just, I just need 800. Need okay. Two more, two more ones. So it was two more ones. We can play games. So can't do math, math, math yeah. is hard sometimes. And this money is just so crisp. And so, like, I just got lost in that. I don't, I don't it is know. very pretty money. <laughs> like, Monopoly's got nothing on this. No, not at all. Not okay. at all. So, that is my cash right now. So, that was one action. I can take another. Second one I'm going to go ahead and take is to fly. Now, let's go ahead and go head up towards Persephone. So, that's up here. Now, there are two different areas you can fly. You can fly in this outer ring. Every time you fly through the outer ring, you go through border space. Border Space has these baddies in there called Reavers. Hence, Reaver. They are not guys you want to encounter. You have the potential of encountering them, breakdowns, pirates, things like that in the outer space. On the inner space, you still have the breakdowns, but you have the chance of encountering the law, which if you're doing anything illegal is not a good thing. So you just kind of have to choose where you're going. Since we're going to Persephone, there's no use in encountering the Reavers. That's the worst situation. So I'm going to go from here straight into the next one. So that's one. And that's one of the Alliance space. So here we go. It says, prepare to be boarded. Contraband and fugitives not in your stash are seized. It's a full stop. So that ends my turn. Full stop. If I have contraband, you'll notice here I have a stash or I have a cargo hold. If you have anything illegal, it's a good idea to put it in your stash. Because that way when these happen, they didn't look in your stash. So you still have it there. Um, but since I don't have that or any fugitives, none of my characters have a little wanted symbol on them. It just means that I have to stop. I got stopped by the police. They didn't like the look of my vehicle. They pulled me over. But nothing happened, right? Nothing but happened. you could, he did have the option to turn and burn. So if he, he had stuff that he didn't want taken away, he could have just jettisoned out of there, right? So you, upon flying here at the beginning, 
you moved one space. Is that a free action you don't spend any fuel on? No, that is an action I do have to spend fuel on. Thank you for that. Okay. Oh, nope, it's just gone. It on the okay. floor. Fuel's up in the top corner over there. Uh, you have to burn when doing that. There are ship parts you can buy, and we'll see those later. But, yep, to initiate a burn, spends one fuel. So there's my one Got fuel. it. But he could have moved up to five spaces had he been able to get yeah, This one has a that. range of five. So. But... Got stopped. That makes it your okay, turn. Okay, my turn. Awesome. My turn. Okay, so <laughs> trying to figure this out, right? I'm, I'm still just, whew, there's Before a lot of stuff. Before you do any of your jobs, I would recommend getting a crew. A crew. And I can find a motley crew. Can't I find some here? You are on Osiris. It's underneath the planet. That indicates a location. If it's above the planet, it indicates a person. Okay, and the location so, stuff has a lot of our stuff here. So, so Osiris, Osiris here uh, matches here. So I am going to grab these three. And looking at these... Um, I do, yeah, you did say that this was a good option for me. Um, I could go up to six, but it's one fuel to initiate and it's a lot more expensive. So I really don't care about that. I don't think I need the fake ID. Um, so I'll just take this for now. So this engine he's buying means he no longer has to spend fuel. So all of that fuel he has there. It's just taking up space. It's great. I will so recommend to him since this is his first time and I'm nice, keep at least two. I wouldn't just jettison all my fuel. Are you kidding? Well, no. sometimes you need the cargo space. I mean, it, it's more fun explosive stuff, you know, for later when we got to get it away. Because so, there are certain cards you still need fuel for, even if you don't have it. Uh, good to know. See, things that I don't know. So this is obviously going to take over my main drive, correct? Correct. So your so main drive is here, now gone. And this goes just out of the game. Out of the That's game. the initial okay. engine. I'll toss it down there. If it was that engine that you're replacing... It would go back, back into, to Cyrus. Oh, okay. Cyrus is uh, into the the middle of the deck, not into the discard. Got it. So it has to be rediscovered. Got Same it, got with it, got every it. character. If you get rid of a crew member, they go back into the main deck, not into the discard. So got the people it. have to refine them. Now, can you do two action like an action twice? No. So it has to be two different actions then. So I've already done the Osiris stuff here. I don't have, like he had the the two options at this place. Were you considering I only had the all one. three of those cards? Um, I, remind me again how that works, considering. Okay. So I looked so at all three. You looked at all three, but you didn't declare which ones you're considering. The only reason they do that is so that you can't look at all the entire discard pile and then still draw three. You can look at the discard pile at any time, but you have to declare how many. So you only okay. wanted that one. The one. So I can I can look up to two now? You can look up to two more. So it's always three you can consider? Always three. Okay. So, so I'll look up two more, see if any of these are worth it. We've got, oh, an extra cargo hold, which, I mean, could be good, right? And then there's a hacking rig. Why would I need a hacking rig? It is good for a lot of jobs. It also is a piece of equipment that counts for an extra mechanic on rolls. Ah, but which could be nice. There's a lot of times when you have to do jobs that require a hacking rig, or the hacking rig literally just bypasses the job and gets it done for you. I'll just spend the money. I like to spend money, and, you know, I'm here new to space, so I'm going to pay the thousand that it will take to get there. So do this. I can do that math pretty easy. I'm just... Well, you know, okay. two thousand miles. Now this is—it's a piece of equipment. Piece of equipment. And so each of it just takes up the slots. No. Oh, like this attaches yes. to my person. To a person. Okay. So, so this attaches to Nandy here. Right. There's, there's, unless it says otherwise on the character card, each character can only have one. Okay. So character, she has her hacking rig here. Now uh, she's set to go, but I can have up to, as it says here, I can have up to six crew. So my next step would be. I probably should go try and find a crew. And there are crew at literally every single place. And, and it could be the places. Um, these are all the jobs that are taken there. That's what these represent, right? They're right. only jobs. They're only jobs. Perfect. So I just got to go to different places. Let's see here. Where do we want to go next? Um, that depends entirely upon what you're looking for in your crew. Ah, uh, well, I, I don't know, but I can go up to four away without using fuel. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go, we're going to go up this way. So one. I'm going to go one. Player to your right must move the Alliance cruiser one space within Alliance space. Okay. And so I keep flying. Center. And you keep flying. So if he was right next to it, I could land this on him. When this lands on him, it is a full inspection, meaning everything in their stash, all fugitives, anybody with warrants, it, the hull hammer comes down. So you really want to try and move that to get in your guy's way or to uh, land on them. So avoid at all cost if you have illegal stuff, but I have a hacking rig. 
I don't think that's illegal right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. So like, I'm totally fine, but for future reference. Um, so moving for my second, I'm going to be moving into border mm-hmm. space. Okay. What does it say? It says, player to your right must move reaver cutter one sector within border space. And I keep flying. Okay, so he just moved that. There's the reaver, obviously, and the police. So there's two spaces I've moved. I'm going to move a third. And I'm another for border space here. It says, prepare, oh, a player to your right must move reaver cutter one sector within border space again. So he's just moving. Hopefully he cuts himself off. That would be ideal for me. Um, for the third, moving here, right there. We're moving the reaver cutter one more and time. And it moves again. All right. Boom, all the same. So now I'm at Niska for my next one because I've already done my two actions, right? Because you right. can only ever do two. So you flew and now it's... Flew, I've right. already done the Osiris, done. Okay. okay, so I'm still making my way to Persephone, but because I got stopped, I've got to burn again. So that Keep goes there. there, and we move. One in Alliance Space. Alliance Space. It says, keep flying. Keep flying. The big like black. That. And two. And two. Keep flying. And I'm right where I want to be. Oh, well, perfect. Okay, so for the next thing, I'm going to look at Persephone. Go ahead and give me... Uh, uh, those three to check, let's check three, out. Let's see. Crybaby. You got two of them right there. When within sector line... Oh, well, uh, let's see. When in a sector with Alliance Cruiser, discard it to ignore Alliance Cruiser's effects and move the cruiser to one sector within Alliance Space. So if, if he tries to land it on top of me or it lands on top of me, I can use that to get out. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. The one I'm going to take for sure is River Tam. Now, any of you who have seen the movie or the TV show know exactly who this is. She's probably the most overpowered card in the game and costs zero. So I'm taking that and I'm going to grab two more. Okay, so you're not even considering these. No. Okay, but that's a good upgrade. Two more. Here we go. It's got a knife. And a, oh, sorry, I'm moving these a lot. And a four-wheel drive mule. So one is a, a discard for an extra gun on a roll. And uh, okay. one is um, pretty good. After completing a crime job, you can get extra, but I don't want either of those. I don't have the extra funds to spend on that right now. So that'll be it, and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. Well, I was just looking at this. I'm like, my pickups, I have to go to White Sun or I have to go to Red Sun. Okay. Red White Sun. White Sun? Red Sun, uh, which planet? Um, it says Mother Load for the Red Sun. Mother Load. So is right there inside. Okay. And then for White Sun, it's Londinium. Londinium. Now, okay. normally you wouldn't be showing everybody your cards. This is the first playthrough, and we want you to see. You see that, but normally you keep it to yourself so people don't know where you're going or what you're doing. I still don't know what I'm doing, and I think he realizes that. So here we go. Um, I am in Georgia which is a great place to be, I guess. So, um, that, I'm in Niska. Niska. So Niska is a job. He's kind of the crime lord of the area, so you really don't want to be doing work for him as a moral character. Uh, so but if you choose to do a new type of movement called a mosey, you can get to Regina. And what is a mosey exactly? Mosey means you move only one space, but you don't flip over any cards here, and you don't use any fuel. I think I want to do that. Not that I need to use fuel, obviously, with my engine, but I'm going to mosey on over to Regina here, which allows me to go for this card. Here we go. We got a ship upgrade here. We got a crybaby, which is the same thing. It's a lion's cruiser to avoid it. Um, and then we've got these two, the two fray. So when carrying a sniper rifle on jobs, draw one fewer misbehaved cards down to a minimum of one. And when carrying a knife, may not carry a firearm. And if you notice this symbol in the bottom, they're both wanted men, meaning oh, you don't want the Alliance them. Oh. already knows who they are, and if you encounter the Alliance cruiser, you have to roll. And if you roll a one, they get removed from your crew. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to not consider these, but I can draw three more, right? Correct. If you put down all three of those, I will do that. You can consider I just, the top three. I just want to see what all this stuff is. Okay. A bunch of ship upgrades. So I got two skyhooks and an onboard chop shop. So after any salvage up, take 500 and load one contraband. Nice. 
uh, requires a pilot to use counts as transport. I've completed crime job, load one contraband. Now, a crime job is not an immoral job. It's just something illegal. So you uh, could potentially do that. Ah. Uh, but remember, been... you're, I mean, up to you. It's pretty cheap transport, all things considered. And a transport's just like a hacking rig. It can get you out of situations or get jobs done for you without you having to do risky roles. You know what? I'm getting low on money, but I, sure, I'll take that. Oops that uh, upgrade there and I was at Regina so I will pay the 600 I'll just pay that get my four back three and four I am really low on money so I mean I need to start actually doing a job um, so I'm going to put okay. that and that is my slot upgrade right there now oh. every single one of these scenario cards has three goals every time you complete a goal you get a goal token when you get your third goal token, everybody else has one more turn. And then it's game over. And then it's over. game over. Got it. Okay, now, goal one for us is to complete goal, be solid with two different contacts. So two different of these. And solid means you've finished a job with them successfully. And after completing the goal, take a goal token. Now, right. the great thing about being solid with a contact is once you are solid with a contact... You can buy and sell things from them or to them. Cool. Okay, so I have moseyed and then I have looked. So I've technically done my two. You've done your two? Yes. Back over to Skeletor. I mean, uh, reverse. Yeah, it's here. Skeletor. Re reverse. reverse. Reverse? Reverse. I think it's reverse, plural, rever, singular. I'm oh, not sure. Reaver. Oh. Okay, Reaver here is going to okay. take it. Well, let's see here. I still want to look at what's in Persephone, so I'll consider the top three. Uh, the top three. Top here we three. go. So. One, two, and three. Hmm. Don't need a mercenary, but he's pretty cheap. Um, apparently, this guy has extra talking power when he has a firearm. People listen to him more. Ah, uh, well, I, I would too. Yeah. Uh, fancy duds can come in quite handy as well, but I think I'm going to pass those up. All right. So, for perfect. my next action, hmm, I think I'm going to work without doing a job. That gives me okay. an instant 200. Okay. So you don't even have to have an active job to actually get money. You can just get money. Yep. Man, I might need to do that sometime soon. Okay, that being said, uh, I you're done, right? Yep. So my turn, here we go. I'm going to, I need to see if I can get some monies here. So I'm gonna try and go here and head towards White Sun. So I need to go White Sun here. So I'm gonna head there paying my zero to start going. So I'm going to do one for border space. All right, player to your right, let's move the reaver cutter and then keep flying. Okay, so I will do that. I got number two. Number two, keep flying. Ah, I love that. I'm going to go here. Three, nothing Three. That matters. I move the reaver cutter again. Okay, so it looks like a lot of that's just going to be happening, just mm -hmm. movement of ships. Okay, and four into alliance space. Keep I'm gonna just keep flying. So, Perfect. We're good. Cool. All right. Oh wait, was that one? Yeah, I don't. I can't even do. Well, you can't. Because I'm not on a planet. You're not right? on a planet. So to work. actually work the jobs like you were saying, you have to be on any planet. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the planet. Got it. Yep. Okay. Still at Persephone. Give me the top. <sighs> All he's doing is hanging out over there. So here's your first one. Yeah. Benefit of knowing the game. Yeah. Well. Whatever. <sighs> okay. All right. New, new, and new. There's one of like four cards I'm looking for. Uh, bad well, draws. I, okay. He's saying bad draws, but all of them look great to me. I mean... Uh, can you give me 200? Again? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I do. Your turn. Uh, you're not going to go anywhere? You're just going to stay? Just going to stay. Okay, you just worked and... Uh, okay. Well, fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. I have a strat. Fine. Okay, I am going to move first. So I'm going to go here. And for Alliance Space, we got Keep Flying. Okay. Number two, Alliance Space. I will keep flying. And number three. Number three, to get to Londinium, I will keep flying. Perfect. I like that. Yeah, I like that. it. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can actually activate this job, right? So pick up. So... Here it says, White Sun, Londinium, which I've made it to White Sun and Londinium. Um, it says, load two cargo, right? So I will take two One cargo, two. and I'm going to put them in my 
because it's not contraband or anything, so I don't really need to stick it in my stash, right? Because you can choose what you put, where you put it, right? Right, but you can't move it around once you've encountered something bad. Okay, so you have to do it beforehand. Like you, you have can to do it wind loading. Wind loading, okay, perfect. So you loaded, that is the time that you did it. If you were to place it anywhere else, you can't move it later. Okay, got it, so no moving. Not not good. So now I need to drop this off over at uh, Himmingborg, that over here at the Icer or a Acer. Acer, I think. Acer, sure. So that's where I'm heading to next. He doesn't know that, but that's where I am heading. Okay, so I've done my movement. I have started my job, which I need to put over here, right? It's an active job. It's really far away, but brighten up this place a little bit more. You're just okay. flying close to the sun. Yeah, I, it is a white sun, so you know. Okay. I've done my two actions onto my you. My turn. Top three. Again, wow. He's just going to unload this one entire time. <coughs> All right. So here's your three. You. Okay. Any of those? I need a good mechanic. Oh, he's wanted. That's fine. May sell parts to any solid contact for 300. He's worth two on that. Let's go ahead and I'll grab him for now. So I have to pay 200. He is my fourth crew member. Do you need these? I do not need any, either okay. of the other two. So that is 200 to the banker man. Pretty now cheap one mechanic. thing to be said for jobs, and it's not really applicable to you right now, which is why I didn't mention it, but when you start a job, you have to declare which one of your crew is working the job. I only have one crew member, so obviously I'm going to be working the job. Right. Now you can pick all of your crew, some of your crew. You can rearrange their equipment as needed. You have to say which crew members and which equipment for that job. Because some jobs do require, like, have to be a mechanic, have to be a gunslinger, whatever, have right? Have to have a hacking rig, have to, Got you it. know. On top of that, you have to pay your crew if they work the job. Uh. Well, I am working for myself, as you can see, and there are zero needs over here. So this is basically like anybody can work the job. I can do whatever, yep. whoever, right? Perfect. So I only have Which one is person why working. I didn't mention it. Yeah. However, just so that you guys know when that comes up, why we're doing that. Okay. I believe that would make it. You've drawn. Did you get the guy you wanted, or are you still staying? I'm still staying because I need to make a little bit more money. <sighs> see, this work thing people underestimate, but I'm telling you, it's one of the fastest ways to gain money in the beginning. Yeah. Well. I know that I'm going to be moving four spaces, so I'm heading to three, four, but if I go there, I don't get any money, so I'm going to work first. There you go. Get 200 money, which I should have done last time, but I'm going to get my 200 money, and then I'm going to start moving. So, one. One. And it says you get to move this, the cruiser one yep. section. Uh, I am going to go through here. Two. Ooh, okay. Ooh. What's going on in the engine room? Were All there right. space monkeys? <laughs> Breakdown. So, so you have to roll a seven plus, keep flying, or spend one part and keep flying. Uh, wow. You don't have, you have one I'm mechanic. just going to spend one. You have yeah, one I'm mechanic, gonna... so I would, I would try and uh, spend the part. That's what is there for. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend that part for it. Okay. And I'm going to keep flying. So let's do that. So I'm on my third. Keep flying. Perfect. I just will keep flying. And four. And four. Ooh. All right. So derelict, derelict ship. ship. What that means is a ship with nobody on it. I think the Marie Celeste. Ah. Uh, salvage opportunity. Load two cargo and come to a full stop. Well, I'm already at, I'm stop. already at my full stop. So, so you might as well load two cargo. Give more me the cargo. cargo. There you go. Bring it on. All right. And once he's solid with a contact, he can sell that to anyone. I like that. Okay. Sell it to the contact. Now, is there? Would it be beneficial at this point? Does it matter? Like, would you suggest like stashing some of it? You're about to unload cargo, so, so I wouldn't like really worry about sixes? it. Sixes. Okay. Yeah, I would leave the stash open because the stash is always available. If you need to pick up additional cargo, you can always put it in the stash. Yeah. However, you always want contraband in the stash, so you don't want any normal cargo in there if you can help it. Fair. Okay. So I have worked and I have moved. On My to turn. You. Top three. Of course. Here's your first one. Yeah, that's who I want. Uh, well, and who are the other two? Well, you've got a hacking rig and a fake ID, yo. Ooh, that is a hard choice. Okay. Um, you got mm, enough money, I'm sure. We're going to do the fake ID 
and Simon Tam, River's brother. Now, if you look at River, she says, before each roll test, like he was about to with okay. the mechanics, you get to roll one through two, you return to the ship. If you get a three, you have guns. Four, you have mechanics. Five, you have speech. Three, three of any of them. Wow. Simon, if you look at his second one, plus two to River Tam's gift rolls. So I never return to the ship, and it's always one of the others. What? Never return to the... Where does it say that? Two medic checks, plus two to River Tam's gifted rolls. Because it's... Oh, because it's always... Uh, that's crap. Okay, so I, I get why he uh, he's collecting this now. That makes a lot more sense. He also comes equipped with fancy duds, and he's plus two medic checks. And those are if a guy's going to die, you can do a medic check to try and save them. And he's worth two of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, take them. Yeah. Whatever. But so give me the money. I'm going to give you 1200 It's quite expensive, but yeah, yeah 2000 well, Give me 800 back. Yeah. We I tried gotcha. this before. Once I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Don't give me that crap. Okay, 800. All right. If you weren't already dead, I would kill you. Okay, so you've done that. Are you going to go anywhere now? Yes. going to do something. We're going to burn. And I'm going to go over to... Ooh. Let's go to Osiris. So that's one. Juan, keep flying. Keep flying. Oh, boy. That's pretty close. Two. Keep flying. Three. Oh, an ali uh, alliance entanglements. The wild gosling chase. Move the alliance cruiser to any alliance sector not occupied by a firefly. Keep flying. So it just moves. And a legitimate tip is the option two. Requires solid Harkin rep. Move the cruiser to an alliance sector with an outlaw ship. Take 500 and keep flying. So Harkin is on the ship. He's the captain. Okay. He's the head of the, he's the police chief of the area. Okay. So if you know that there is anybody who has a warrant on their ship, ships can get a warrant themselves, not just the individual crew members, you can put him there and you get 500 for the bounty. Ah, uh, because you an anonymous tip, basically. As it is, I get to move it anywhere where there's not space. So I can move him completely to the other side. So uh, I just don't have to worry about it. Well, you lucky little... All right, so that was one, two, three, four. And it says... Cruiser patrol, player to your right must move Alliance Cruiser in one a, sector within Alliance space. Really good thing I got that one. Yeah, I'm going to move <laughs> him. Because you would have put him right on me. I'm going to move him back up here. And one more. All right. And he's going to just keep flying. Keep on. So that's my turn. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I need to get, obviously I'm doing my thing. I need to get to Azer. Aesir, Aesir, Aesir. It's one space away. I'm going to mosey. He's going to mosey. I don't want to draw anything. So I'm, I'm there now. And to finish my job, I got to drop off and deliver two cargo to get paid. So I'm going to take two of my cargo, the two free ones that I got, in fact. And here you are. And that means that I get, okay, so the mechanic bonus, that's if I have a mechanic, right, which I do not have. I would have gotten a bonus of one part, right? Just yes. added to it. But that being said, I am at 900. So I get 900 additional here. So five, actually, I'm just gonna take 1,000, get back one. And the other here. thing is now that you are solid with that contact. So he is solid now, and it says right here. You can sell the fuel that you are just ah, holding onto. Ah, that's it. fair. Well, perfect. The other additional benefit you get. Which is, oh yeah, that's right. So it says, when solid with Harkin, you may ignore the custom inspections nav card. These are the nav cards down here, right? So anytime it lands on you like I got in the beginning that stopped me, he can just ignore that card from now on. <sighs> and that means any fugitives that he has and anything that he has hidden doesn't even need to put it in the stash. There is one card that circumvents that. And if you encounter it, you still have to do everything. But for an entire deck only having one card that can affect you, that's not too bad. That's pretty sweet. Now, to be able to, pay, to to sell this fuel, I have to be at the ship. Correct. But if I'm on the ship at the same time... If you're on the ship, it initiates a customs inspection, which you ignore. Ah. Ah. There we go. I love this. Okay, that's great. I like you, Harkin. So I'm going to put him there as a completed... Yes, it's getting a little muddled over here, but, you know, not a lot of space. But I'm trying to keep it together here. So I have... 
moseyed. I have completed my job, and now it is to you. It is to me. Okay, so I am heading up towards. Uh, well, let's let's actually stick on Osiris. I'm gonna see if I can't get some good ships. What's in the Osiris discard at the moment? All right, currently we have ship upgrade to extend your cargo hold we've got a fake id which you already got one yes. and a modified radion accelerator mark ii i don't need that give me three new ones please. okay so we've got a, one right here all right two another cargo hold upgrade and three i was hoping for a better ship part uh what's this simon surgical kit this would be simon what does simon surgical kit do plus one to medic checks hmm you wow. know, that's actually not a bad piece of kit to have. It also gives me plus another mechanic. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That'd be 800. Alrighty. I'm running out of cash. That's fine. But you worked that's, like four times, so. That's life. All right, so it's 800? Yes, sir. 800. Pleasure right. doing business Find with you. But... Surgical kit. All right. Okay. So. That will be number one. Number two, I'm going to go ahead and take 200 back. You're always working. You need to calm down. It's almost the weekend, man. Uh, yeah, for some of us. Yeah, well, if you just came with Nandy, I'm pretty relaxed. I just got 900 Listen, bucks. I'm I got 900 I'm bucks. I 15,000 credits debt from buying my new ship. I just got this massive... You have I too many to mouths to feed. That's all I'm saying. Like... I can do jobs by myself. Yeah, I think it's Mel that once actually said, there are parts falling off my ship, there's a crew that needs paid, and oh yeah, I have a mighty powerful need to eat sometime this month. <laughs> That's right. All right, All right we're, I need to head to Sutton. I promise I'm not a nerd. <laughs> he is. It's, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, he's deathly so. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. So anyway, I'm going to... I, I want to try and accomplish another thing so I can get my first goal here, right? Objective. We want to further the game along. So I'm going to go ahead... And I, I can move up to four, so I can one, two, three. So to start, I'm gonna go ahead and move one in the border space. Let's see, here. keep flying. Of course, I'm gonna keep flying. Number two, I'll keep flying. Oh, shoot. Okay, what's that noise? That doesn't sound good. Uh, it's gonna break down if I roll a six. If you roll a six plus, oh, a keep six flying. plus. If you are on through five, full stop. But, the, you can but this counts as like, what, what is the medic symbol? I don't understand that. That's not a medic symbol, that's a wrench. No, that's a wrench, a mechanic symbol, sorry. Look down there, you see your yep. hacking rig? Yes. That counts towards it. Any so I have of that one. symbol you have in your crew or gear counts towards this roll. So then you only have to roll a five plus because you already have one. Got it. That's still terrible. Can I keep flying? I can't if pay. you spend a part. I'm gonna do that, I don't even care. Option number two is down there. I'll, I'm just gonna do it, okay. Um, and then for my third one, I am going to be here, and I keep, keep flying. I sh I sh right. Whatever. Okay, so I have gotten to my objective here, and I am going to be starting this one right here. So I am going to be loading three cargo. Heavy load applies while job is active. So what is the heavy load? You have must to spend one additional fuel to burn, which means that I have to spend nothing. Nothing, still, right? Because like this negates no fuel required to initiate a full burn. Well, it, it's timesing it there. It's uh, time, one times, okay. I thought it was like an additional one, so it'd just be like one fuel. No? We, I, and this is the thing, is the book is very good. It doesn't actually specify. Huh. We could find. It's like a 30 page manual, but it doesn't actually specify. So in my household, if you have that engine, you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to be good to go according to house there are rules. Plenty of other reasons to keep the fuel on board that that engine does not cover, which I'm sure that he'll encounter soon. I'm really waiting for it. And I don't even know what he's talking about or alluding to, but I like this because I'm going to load three cargo. Okay, so give me three cargo. Three cargo. One, two, and three. Perfect. I am going to load. Oh. I don't have any parts, so I'll just load up that. Keep the stash open in case there's any contraband. So you okay. are fully loaded. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that is... I've moved and time. I've done my initiation on my... Give me the top three on Osiris, would you? Ah, uh, you would. Okay, here's your first one. Okay. Second and third right here. 
shiny new state-of-the-art compression coils, mosey up to two sector sectors and ignore all breakdowns. That's the one that you were talking about. Or look at that other engine. One fuel to initiate burn, may mosey up to two sectors and ignore it. So it's the exact same thing, but better. Moving further. Yeah. That's an expensive engine, man. It is an expensive engine. Enhanced gravitation gravition? Graviton. No, I graviton. Wow. I can read. Accelerator. Wow. Now, let me just count up my funds because I'm going to be buying one of these two and it was what I was looking for. So Okay, well, I'm gonna drop off the med staff because I'm pretty sure you're not gonna do well, it. Well, I already have a medic, I don't need it. Okay. So it depends so, on how much money you got, huh? Depends on how much money I've got. Because if I got enough money to buy that, I'm gonna buy it. His just his chances. I mean, he gets good stuff coming up all the time. He's got enough money. No money? Oh, oh. I may not even be able to buy the other one. Not even the sixteen hundred? Maybe not. What? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. <laughs> he has to work one. However, wait. I already get plus one to fuel burn range thanks to wash. So I'm probably gonna be going after this. Which means for my, I've considered three, since I did draw them off the top, that is buying and selling done. But what I am going to do, sell one part. Okay, so you can sell a part, and that is worth 200, right? That is worth 300. Ah, uh, fine. So, so you get enough money to be able to do it for the next time. No, do it for this time. Oh, because you haven't moved. Action. Ah, buying and selling. I uh, got it. And so I will get 100 back after that. It's all the same? Okay. If I can do my math correctly. So I'm left basically broke. However, he is taking his ship upgrade. So now I essentially have that engine because okay. I can already move one. Yep. And now I have the other two features of it as well. And I ignore all breakdowns and can mosey up to two. Well. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna go ahead and fly. You're gonna fly. I'm gonna fly. He's okay. gonna do it. Does it require me to do that? Third. One. There we go, keep flying. Two. And that's into border space, keep flying. All right, three. And keep flying. Four. Keep, what, these re, really? They're just floating out there, it's fine. Well, I'm heading to the wrong planet. Five. Okay, keep, keep, there's and nothing. And six. <sighs> okay, finally, okay. Scrapper ambush, slip the net. So you have to get up to a five, a uh, one, two, four, discard one ship upgrade, full stop, a five plus, keep flying. But or the second option. Uh, take them head on, you can salvage up, um, so kill, yeah. Kill the crew of whoever's attacking me, <laughs> and a full stop, or a nine plus. Uh, Take 500 and two parts full stop, so you have a chance of getting some so stuff. So I either but... kill one of my crew members, or I get some stuff. Either way, you know, I think I'm going to go with that one, because I already have one, two, three, four, five, six. So you don't even need to roll. I don't even need to roll. Wow. Okay, well, fine. And uh, is that as far as you're going? That's as far as I'm going. Okay. That's my turn. Wow. Okay, so I, where do I need to go with this? Let's find out. Okay, so I need to go to the White Sun, Bernadette. Where is Bernadette? Where are you? Bernadette, I believe. She's in White Sun somewhere. I think she's like right on him. Don't. Yeah, she's, ah. Uh, no. Bernadette, she... where'd you go, Bernadette? Bernadette? How can you lose a planet? I don't know. How, how Bernadette be a White whole Sun. Named oh, Bernadette shoot, she's in the middle. <laughs> she's right in the middle. Right there. She's blinding light. I couldn't even By see it. By the way, it. if any of you catch any of my quotes from the shows, <laughs> comment, below. comment down below. We want to hear it. See if you can be the first one in the comments to go, I got that one. Yeah, we, we want to hear it. Okay, so I need Please, to go to Bernadette. Here. <laughs> Bernadette right there. Okay. Oh, okay. So I need to move forward, but let's see how far I can go. One, two, three, four, up to there. Which could be good. I mean, it's the same either way. So, yeah. <sighs> yep, I'm going to do that. So, okay. border, border, you gotta love the border. All right. Oh shoot. Oh, oh no, it's it's not bad. Okay. Derelict ship again. So you can full stop and load two more cargo, or just keep flying. I feel like I have a lot of cargo. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna, 
I'm just gonna keep flying. Okay. Uh, so number two. All right, play to your right moves the Reaver. Okay, yep, of course that happens on my turn. Okay, let's get to the Alliance space. I'm keep gonna keep flying. flying. And four to get here. Keep flying. Ah, perfect. Okay, and since I am here on Gonch, Gonk, Gonk, Gonky, Gonky. Gonky. Sure. Um, I am going to work. Actually, yeah, that's all I can do because there's no Gonky over here, right? It has to be a main location. Yep. Because there's no... Okay, so I'm just going to work. Okay. Get some more monies. More monies? All yes. Right, I'm going to start my first job. All right, Hera Murphy. Hera Murphy. Yep. All right, load two cargo. Cool. Cool. So loading up. But that's this is the only active one, right? So this one is not currently. That's not currently okay. active. So that is over there still. So I'm loading two cargo, and now I'm gonna fly out. So let's burn. Okay, so border space, and you can still move in these spaces, right? Yeah. Okay. I was wondering why you did like the roundabout. I didn't know what you Because did. originally I was heading to the wrong planet. Ah, that makes more but sense. But I had enough time in my... <laughs> yeah, you were like, whatever. No. <laughs> readjust. So I was like, whatever. All right, where are you going? All right, straight across. Okay, keep flying. Keep flying. And nope. Oh, that's right. We're moving into a line space. All right. If in the coil, coil bust, we're drifting. Uh, bust, not bust then. So you have to get eight. Okay, basically. Or spend two parts. But don't I you have, have six? Two parts. Yeah, I already have one, two, three, four, five, six. But if you remember River, I also have a chance of having seven, eight. So you get to roll the dice that's all the way over but there, it's right? A six plus, right? Uh, eight, eight plus. So I get a roll for River. All right. And oh, this is on. I'm oh, misbehaving. She got a one, but it's instantly a three. Because. Uh, yeah, three. because you have your other guy. Yep. Good old Simon. So that's two guns. That doesn't do me any good. So I still have to roll for this. Yes. Better not get a one this time. Uh, All right. Well, I'm good. Yeah, you're fine. you're totally fine. Okay. okay. Uh, hold it. Okay. Yeah, you don't have the parts to spend. So that was what you done. One, two. All right. A three. A three. Keep flying. And four. A uh, four. Keep flying. Five. Uh, keep flying. Un six. Why does this always happen to you? Keep flying. Alrighty. Gosh dang it. We are getting about... <laughs> yeah, we're about halfway, halfway through. through and, and those two main cards in each deck. There's one main card in each deck that makes you reshuffle the deck, and that's not good to encounter. So I'm getting nervous flying through space. I don't even... I'm just nervous in general. I don't even know where I'm going half the time. <laughs> okay, so I need to head still to <laughs> Bernadette. We love the Bernadette. The Bernadette. Okay, so I'm going to go Juan... For our alliance space here. Going to keep flying. keep flying. Now, he is in the same space as me. This initiates something fun. Oh. So Do tell. If he chose to stop here, he could sell or, you know, we could trade stuff. Everything from engines all the way through ship equipment, cargo, crew members. Now, in the game, if you get a moral crew member or if you botch a job, you get a, a disgruntled crew member. Nobody likes disgruntled workers. No, nobody does. And if they're disgruntled, when you are in the same space as them, I can buy, I can buy, pay the price for the crew member and take them from So him. if if good old River Tam or Simon Tam were both disgruntled at any point in time, I could basically pay that price you stop them and, and take them. Take them, it removes the disgruntled, so then I can't take them back immediately again. And he just took my crew and is off going. So how nice that would have been at this point in time in the game. That, but it unfortunately is not happening. I figured that was a good time to, to say that. And you can talk about this when you have, because this goes up to several players. You can talk about this while it's not even your turn and coordinate. It's in the rules says that's perfectly okay. So if you have something that they want and they have something, you know, you could trade, you can get, you know, if, if for whatever reason you had to ditch some cargo, but you need it to finish a job, somebody picked up some cargo randomly from an op. Can you, you trade back? Do you, you can't like sell stuff. You have to you do some sort of like, could. oh, you could. You so, could like, say, well, yeah, I do have two cargo, but I'm what, what's sell it to them. you? Right. So, if you want okay. to get rid of that job, which you can't get rid of until you finish, I'm going to need you to pay me. So, you can do things like that. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, I believe you were. You have nothing I can really get, and I don't think you would sell me. So, I would totally <laughs> spend this 100 and buy a fuel. Uh, <laughs> 
No. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to go anywhere. You can mosey for like two spaces. I don't even care. Okay, so I'm going to continue moving here. So Bernadette, we have finally arrived. Here we go, Alliance Space, of course. Okay, family dinner. Kind of you to share. I got to spend one cargo, remove disgruntled from all crew, and keep flying, or I'll be in my bunk. Keep flying. So um, if you had disgruntled, as we just discussed, you can remove it from them. Likewise, you can also give everybody one day of shore leave and pay 100 per person and get rid of disgruntled that way. Ah, oh, so you, okay, you weren't saying anything with this. You were saying an additional way to get rid of disgruntled. Right. Got it. Okay, so disgruntled, I have a family dinner. I feed my guys and then they get r removed from disgruntled. Or you said you could pay each of them like a day can, leave or whatever. A day leave, it means that it takes up both actions that turn. You give them a day leave, you give them some spending money, they're no longer disgruntled. But it's 100 per. It's 100 right? per. Okay, so yours would be a motley crew to do that. Okay, I'm just going to keep flying because I'm already to Bernadette. That's where I want to be. So, that being said, for my second action here, it says, deliver three cargo to get paid. Let's do that. I'm going to deliver my three cargo. Here you are. And I get paid the whopping 1900 here. So I'm going to take 2000 Not a bad job. Not at all. Now, I have completed that. So now, Amnon Duel is in my good graces. So he, when solid, he may load passengers and fugitives at Space Bazaar. No limit. So if I get over here at any point in time, no limit. I can just get a whole bunch of guys. Right. And there are some jobs that say the more you sell, the more you get. Oh, but cool. they'll only let you load like one. So then you'd go, I'm going to go to Ammon Duel, load up the rest of the way. And Get all the stuff. The job. Perfect. Right. Got it. Okay. So then I can actually sell, if I go to Ammon Duel right here, I can sell him contraband or the cargo, right? And you get 600. 600 a piece. So he's pretty good there. So I have these two. And then Harkin, if you go to him, you can get rid of a lot of those unneeded fuels. That is true. I got to get to him at some point. Now, the other thing is I have completed my first two. I am good with them. So for goal one, I have achieved goal one. Perfect. Well then, Nandy, health self five right there. Okay, we're doing good. I have moved. I have accomplished great things in my turn. It is to you. Okay, so here's the problem. This is getting pretty low. I have a couple of fugitives here. I've put a fake ID on one of them I really don't want to lose, but that fake ID only works for the one it's equipped to. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't want to lose any of my other. I mean, I can lose him. I really wouldn't care that much. I do not want to lose You Simon. want Simon, yeah. So, I've got a choice here. He's ahead of me a little bit. I can mosey too, but then it's over and I've got no planets there. I don't flip over cards on Mosey, and then I could Mosey again my next turn. I'm essentially losing a turn in order to mitigate the risk. So do I do it while I'm behind? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and Mosey two. So one. Ooh. Alternatively, I can Mosey because it's up to two. So I can Mosey one and then one, two, be there next time, and this time I can just work. So since I'm on a planet, I'm going to do that. I'm going to Mosey the one. I'm going to go ahead and take 200. Sure. I only got one burn left, so. <laughs> I like it. All righty. Okay, who do I need to go? I need to get some monies and stuff. You need to get some, some money, some junk. No. Yeah. And complete goal one. Yes. Goal two. To complete goal two, I have to have 6,000 in hand. And I was just ca counting it as he was kind of explaining what he was going to do. Uh, I have 3,800 right now. So 3,800, I need to have 6,000 in hand and my first goal token, which I already have to be able to take the second gold token. So I just need a little bit more money. Um, now, my biggest money right now is I either have to take a job or I have two cargo, which if I go over to here, I can get more jobs as well as sell so, my cargo. So I think I'm gonna head in that direction so that I can attempt to do that. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna, well, how many, I can move four, right? So I have one, two, three, right back to it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do that. We're gonna move here one. One. Ah, I'm going to keep flying. And two, do you have anybody disgruntled that no, can steal from yeah, you? Okay, no. well. Oh, hey, look at this. Abandoned abandon ship. Rescue the valuables. Oh. Salvage off, load two contraband, and full stop. 
You can also sell contraband to them. I know. I, I just saw that. I was, I was just thinking contraband. Keep flying all the way. You know what? I have nothing in my stash. Give me some contraband. Let's all go. Right. I'm going to full, full stop, stop it. Contraband. You are on a planet. So for your second action, you can also still work. Of course I'm going to do that. Oh, who doesn't want free money? Uh, not free money. I, I did work for it. So there you go. I am now at 4,000. All right. 2,000 left and I'm golden. So my turn. I'm going to mosey and beat him there. One, two. <sighs> no cards flipped. Yeah, it's I love that mosey up to two. Okay. Now I need to deliver uh, two cargo to get paid. Two cargo. And I'm getting paid. That's a lot of money for that. Yes. Now, as always, I always take my full crew, which means I do need to pay everybody. Okay, so how does that work? You pay them the cost that they initially took. So 200, 400, 600. Okay. So and I get 900 for that. But she obviously is zero, so it doesn't matter. She's, She's a free. Yeah, and my captain is obviously just- Got me, it. So I am now solid with Amandul as well. Ah. But you said, how much money do you get back? Or is it just like... I get 900 because I paid them The 600. 600. Got it. It's a okay. $1,500 so got... job. So... Give me 100. I get... Perfect. 900. Now, for my second trick, I'm going to go ahead and look at some jobs here. Let's see. You might as well show, show because I'm going to be looking at these in a second too. So, <laughs> so I can misbehave. Uh, with a soldier bonus. Now, I am a soldier, my pilot, so I would get an extra 300 on this one, so it would be worth 2300 Wow. Misbehaving can be risky. I do have the two guns, but that's all I have. So This would get you up to 2900 That would get me up for to a medic bonus, though. For a medic bonus. I and you have, have medic, the medic, so... But I have to misbehave twice. Misbehaving is kind of risky, but I think we should show them what misbehaving looks I like. I think you should do it. Okay, where is this misbehaving? You have to go to Silverhold in the Heinland. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab... This, I'm going to consider this one. I'm going to, uh, let's not consider this one. Okay. And this one requires red sun and white sun. Okay. So that's where I am. And there, load three cargo. It's just a, a, a run. I do have to burn in an, another fuel to do it. Uh, yeah, we're going to not consider this one, but I am going to consider two more. So I'm saying no to those two, grabbing these two. Let's see. This one is illegal. Uh, I need to misbehave again. Contraband all the way in Persephone. There. And then I need to go to Three Hills, Georgia. And this there is basically one. the exact same thing that you did last time. But That's basically the same thing. It's actually in the exact same location. But instead of going all the way back here, I just go to Persephone. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this guy right here. So you're going to take this one? I'm going to take this one. Okay. I'm going to leave this one. And I'm going to leave that one. Okay. So there we go. And those are, that's my turn. That is your turn. turn. Okay. Well, I still have to move to get there. So I'm going to go one. I can keep flying though. So I'm going to get here two. Do you have any disgruntled people? Not that one. That one. Oh shoot. You're right. Order. No disgruntled people. Uh, keep flying. Okay. okay yeah, you so I'm there. For me. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I'm going to, cause I'm looking at these and as you were looking at them, I'm not going to do the illegal stuff. Like, let's just throw these out already. So take those and... You know, no illegal is not immoral, right? I don't even want to do it. Okay. I, I'm just looking at this stuff. So I... He's I taking the safe route. I am taking the safe route, but it's paying off so far. So, oh, okay. So what we got? Oh, I need to go to White Sun and Red Sun. So I'm already in Red Sun. I just have to move to the mother load here. So I'm going to be taking this one and then I'm going to consider another one here and uh, load two cars. I don't have any mechanics. So I have just... a one mechanics. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to do me good. Don't it's only a hacker rig. I, I, I haven't even thought about that here. Take that. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. So, so while you're here, you could potentially look for some crew. I could, but I've already moved. Does this that, does that count as no, that, that is, that is a separate, that's work. an so action, next right? Term, yeah. So I have to like, Wait a turn before I could do that. And I yeah. look for some crew. That's so why I go. stayed in the places that I did. I was looking for crew. Well, I've already done my two action. I can't mosey for two like you do. So Right. Well, speaking of moseying for two, I could do that again. One, two, and then wait another turn to get there. Or I could full burn and just hope that I don't have to do... Ooh, so full here's, send. Here's, full here's send. No. 
first action I'm going to buy okay. and sell. That means I can also look at the um, uh, Space Bazaar since I'm there and it's part of buying and selling. So okay. what's in that discard? Space Bazaar, we have, you got a hacker rig, you got Fancy a dugs. shiny necktie, <laughs> you got a scrapper here. You're getting pretty full though. You can what, hold one, one more guy? More. One more. And then you've got another scrapper. Let me go ahead and see the top three. Okay. At the same time, I'm going to buy, ooh, let's say, I'm going to buy uh, three fuel. So you're buying three fuel and each one's 100 a piece, right? Correct. Okay. I do not want any of those. Nothing. Okay. Especially not Tracy. Well, Tracy, he just looks so, I don't know, he does look sad. All right. That'll be 300. That will be 300. Okay, fine. All right. Seven back. Yes, sir. Thank you. One, two, 700. All right. Perfect. So that was your first action. That was my first action. Okay. Now I'm going to initiate full burn. Okay. One. Here we go. Ah. Punctured fuel lines. It's so, a breakdown. Uh, you already have. Yeah, it, it is a breakdown, right? Because ignore you ignore it. So it doesn't even matter. Nope. Whatever. Two. All right, two. He's going. Keep flying. And three. And he is flying. Okay. That's my turn. <sighs> Man. So, like, when you actually look at these, that's part of like the buying selling part, right? Mm -hmm. To either get jobs or to. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. When you run on the space, is the same firefly? Buying and selling does not count as an action. It can be done outside of your turn. Okay, because for me right now, I'm looking at this. I need to get my little old son so I can get the three cargo. Kind of do the same thing. But I am already here at Amandul, so I can sell all this stuff that I can get rid of, right? Correct. So what I'm going to be doing is doing the buy and sell thing because I need to, as you said, I need to get a crew of some sort. Hopefully to help got me. he some, some stuff he can offload right now. I have quite a bit. Quick month. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do two Contra. So that's a thousand a piece. Well, uh, 500 a piece for a thousand right there. Right. Plus I have two cargo, which puts me to another 1,200. So that's 2,200 I'm going to be getting out of this. Just from encountering this stuff out out of derelict ships and abandoned ships. That's, that's, just, that's just luck. Okay. So that puts me at four, five, sixty. 200 right now. 6,200. Hence, goal number two has been achieved. Okay. Now, that being taken into consideration, my next goal, let's pull this up again. Goal number three, feeding the shark. So I have to go to Ezra and Georgia. So I have to go all the way out here again. Oh gosh, the first player who travels to Ezra with two gold tokens and then pays the bank 6,000 wins the game. So he's just got to make it there. I've got the money in hand. I've got the stuff. Um, but the thing is, like, it makes it still makes sense for me to grab some extra cargo just to try and I think because I feel like I'm going to lose some money somehow. <laughs> like I feel like there's something gonna, in here going to happen. I'm surprised could, it hasn't yet. I, okay, so him saying that, I'm just going to go get some more money just to make sure. So I've already done the buy sell thing, right? So I've already done his. Oh wait, that was part of. Do I? Do I even want to look at this? I, I might as well just look at what there is just to see if there's anything. So fake ID. I don't have anybody that really needs that. Um, I don't need, really, it's a hacking rig again. And you can only attach one thing to per crew member, right? So right. none of these, none of these are really gonna do me any good. So I'm gonna just check these top three just to see what there is and if I even want to bother. All right, so I have a firearm. I, that's great. Um, Improvised hacking rig, discard to count as hacking rig, or discard to add a mechanic symbol. Okay. And discard to, to count as explosives. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so just throw, okay, interesting. Okay, um, I'm, I'm just gonna go without. We're just gonna, I would say mosey, but I can't mosey up to two like you can. I can't do it. You should just mosey your way uh, over there. Uh, you, right, I, I, I could. <laughs> that would give you a lot of turns to, you know, catch up and do your stuff. So I you don't need to do that. Uh, you're you're right. You know what? Oh man. <laughs> do I even go for another? Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, so we're gonna go one here. I'm gonna keep flying. And two here. 
please no, please no. Okay, ship graveyard. It's another uh, salvage op. This guy. I could do a salvage op. Sweet. Load two parts. Take one ship upgrade from. Oh well, I could use some parts. And a ship upgrade. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this. So I have one of my required. If I get eight plus, which mm -hmm. I'm not gonna hit that because I only have one. It's only good things though. But yeah, it's great. So I'm just gonna do it. And I got a total of three, so which load two parts, and it's a full stop where I'm gonna be anyway. Two parts. So two parts, load those up. So it's like I just started the game all over again. There you go. So boom. Okay. Okay. I've done my I've done my due diligence for this turn. All right. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at Silverhold. Is there anything in that discard there? Silverhold. So the three we have, we have the Hillfolk. Angry Mob. Oh, you probably don't want that. And a knife and a firearm. Uh, let's look at the top three, please. Okay. It looks like Silverhold's just a lot of weapons. Here's number one, number two, and number three. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the patron. He's 200. That's okay. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do, I've been waiting to say this. I'm going to work. I aim no. to misbehave. <laughs> Not I'm going to work. What, what is mis... Uh, what, what? You're about to find out. Okay, so here's my first illegal job. Silverhold Heinlein. So he's here at Silverhold in Heinlein. Yep. Perfect. Misbehave twice to load two contraband. Okay. Okay. Now, misbehaving's fun. It's a lot set of this fun. this aside over here for right now. So anything, you can be required to do any of the roles. All of those things you've been saying, firearm, explosive, there's sniper rifle, there's just transport, everything, can give you a free pass in here. And some of these are just unpassable. Ah, that'll be fun. Well, let's misbehave. So why don't you show me what I'm misbehaving? Okay. For our first trick. Okay. Voila. I don't like that one. Get a different one. So a bit of local color. There's a bar fight. So you have to do six of the guns of those disgruntled all crew on I job say, attempt botch. As always, I'm taking my whole crew. Taking his whole crew on this job. Okay. So if you don't take them on the job, does anything change? Yeah. You can't use their stuff or anything that's not. Ah, that's why. Okay. Right. So just the benefit of having all their additional things. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, so disgruntle all the crew. So he could disgruntle his whole entire crew off this one. Um, but and it, currently he has two, no, three. He's got three guns to his name. So if he gets an additional three, which he might three have guns with, with, a potential with River. Yeah. Two more. Uh, that's fair. Or he can, we will blow a new crater in this little moon. He can attempt to do the speech for a, attempt botched or to proceed. And I've got one, two, three. Three, Possibly. Now, when misbehaving, six. Jane's hat here that I have equipped to my captain lets me re-roll any one of my rolls once again. Ah, nice. Yes. Okay, so what's it going to be? Bar fight or are you going to blow if a crater? You look at the bottom there. A wash. Proceed. So you don't even have to do anything? I have wash. <sighs> Proceed. Well... He didn't want this card. He said so from the beginning, so we're going to do a different one. <laughs> oh, really? I have to do a total of two. So it has the, the so two I'm different cards. Another one. Okay, and action. You have gunplay, so my guns will do the talking. So you can do a lot of that. You could kill a crew, attempt botched, but it looks like you will probably be okay on that one. Or number two, crawl away like a bitty little bug. Disgruntle all crew and attempt botched. <laughs> and as you see at the bottom, it does not say wash. You don't have another random character that'll get him out of this one. So he has to choose one Let's of the two. for a three. I did not get a three because adds two to all of her rolls. Instead, that gave me five. Right. Okay. Hey, you have a lot of linguistics going for you. I do. So guns-wise, I have two, three, which means I need to get at least... He has four. to get four or more to actually get past this. If not, I have to kill a crew, which is why I brought my mechanic along, so that's fine. <laughs> that's what are they good for, you know? Yeah, if you looked at uh, Ter <laughs> uh, Terry, Terrence, I don't uh, need to know. his is uh, Tracy. If you look at Tracy, his says, I'm lucky. If anybody's going to be killed, he has to be first. Oh, well, perfect. He's a meat shield. We're okay with that. 
and you get exactly a four, oh, so exactly four. you proceed. proceed. So that was his so that second was my one. Two. Well, so, aim I to misbehave. Wow. One, you two. By the skin of your teeth, literally, you have no skin on your teeth. I don't know how you even got by. So, yeah, and a lot of those, I mean, that one was wash and proceed. Sometimes it's a hacking rig proceed or transport proceed. This is why you want to grab all this stuff. Got it. Got it. I That's just grab wash because he lets me fly further. So, those are my two. Your turn. Wow. Okay. Well, here we go. Um, we'll go ahead and load the three cargo. I'm starting this job. Okay. Three cargo, please. Three cargo. One, two, and three. Perfect. Okay. And I am doing great. You know, Nandy doesn't need no crew. Apparently. I just, I'm going to solo this all the way. Okay, here we go. One. Please no. Please no. Please no. Reaver bait. This oh. is not bad. Move the reaver cutter to any border sector not occupied by a firefly and keep flying. Or move the reaver cutter to your location and evade by one. So I can't keep flying though. If you do that one, you cannot keep flying. Uh, well, I want to keep flying, but so I can move that wherever I want, right? Wherever you want in border space. Okay, well, I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay. That was rude. Well, you know. And I'm going to go here for two. Two. And, uh, I get reavers on the hunt player to your right must move the reaver one sector within border space. So. I moved it one. Uh, you didn't want to move it like closer to no, you? Like maybe? No, no, no. Okay, well, you can always help. Okay, so for three, I uh, am on this one. I'm going to keep flying. And for number four, I'm going to go here and keep, keep flying. flying. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, okay, so this is going to be great. Maybe I should just, well, it's like half down on, we're close. We're close. Yeah. Something's going to happen. I don't even know what's going to happen, but I, something's going to happen. I've already started my job and Okay, moved. so for me, I'm going to take one more chance to look at Silverhold. Give me the top. Three. Okay, here we go. you got Stark. You've got Jane. And you've got Skunk. I want Jane. So I have to get rid of a crew. You can fire a crew at any time. Okay. Now, there are two different ways that this can work. You can have a house rule that you can only offload crew at stations where they are. That's not how it works because if you look at this grumbling, that's not how it works. So what ends up happening is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the patron whom I just picked up. Okay. All right. So he's fired. He goes no, back no severance pay, nothing. He goes back into the deck. Ah, so he does not go to discard. So he I just shovel, he shuffle this? Shuffle it away. Okay. And then I now have Jane and Jane's hat. <laughs> what? Because you can, at any point in time, you can like shuffle which people are holding what, right? As long as you haven't declared it for, yeah. For when, whenever you're going to be right. doing something. Got so, it. So Jane and Jane's hat, I just like putting them together. There's no real reason. Um, uh, I thought it was something special that was going to make you automatically win. He also had a gun win. in there he called Vera. You uh. can find that. Um, and then uh, public relations may carry up to three gear. Huh. And he's worth two guns. That's pretty up. solid. So I should be fairly well-rounded for what I want to do. Now that I've got that, I'm going to get out of here. So where I'm heading is New Hope in Georgia. Uh, Georgia, New Hope, where are you? He's gonna head all the way up here. That's quite a ways, man. It's gotta happen if I'm gonna even have a chance of catching up to you, which does mean I need to full burn. All right, fuel up there. Fuel up there. Oh boy, one. Yes, nav hazard debris field. If you have a pilot, keep flying. Otherwise, spend one fuel and keep flying. I have or one. you can stop and take a look. No, I'm no, gonna, okay. I'm He's keep just gonna keep flying. Okay, okay. you already have a pilot. And now we're in Ooh. Alliance space. One. All right, Alliance oh. cruiser. Hey, I guess this is the one. That's perfect. Okay, so can't run. They're pulling us uh, pulling us in. So you got to move the cru cruiser to your sector. Pay the fines of a thousand per warrant. You have. I don't more. have any warrants on my ship. That's ah, thing, okay, right here. got it. That's what those are. Okay, um, so clear warrants. Doesn't have any warrants. All contraband and fugitives seized, including those in your stash. Which I just did the job to get. Oh, mama. So that goes all back in there, and it says it. What it all contraband and fugitives seized. 
doesn't matter. If I don't have any fugitives. That's these little guys right here. We didn't uh, do any okay. passenger or fugitive jobs, but... Got it. Okay, I was like, but aren't these guys wanted? Keep reading. Okay, here we go. Roll for each wanted crew. Remove crew from the game if it's a one. Two through six, you dodge that capture. And full stop. Yeah. So, let's go. Who are you doing first? I want to see this. Okay. Come on, River, please, now. Okay, River's safe. Simon, let's see if we can keep the brother and sister together. Simon's safe. Who else do I got here? You got I'll Wash. Bree. Oh, Bree first? Bree. Bree's get rid of Bree. Gone. See you later, Bree. Bree. You, were, you, were, you were getting rid of him anyway, so that's fine. That's fine. He's, He's in jail. Shield. He's in space jail. Okay, and then I've got Jane. Jane's fine. What is that? That's a six. Ah, uh, and then if you roll that, cool. you get to roll again. So if you need to do like an A plus or a twelve plus, uh, you roll a six. Nice. It gives you another reroll. Hey, so that was a good roll for the no. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> that was for Wash. Come on. Okay, so there that is, okay. and then it is reshuffle deck. Ah, so we start over again. Nice. Yeah. So nice. Now you have less of a chance of encountering it. Nice. It's gonna be like the first thing I'm gonna draw. A watch. It's gonna be great. Okay. Cool. Okay. So. That is why that is unfortunate. Oh, man. Uh, so I have to go, I can't go back to Silverhold and re-misbehave. What I can do is, because I'm already sold with Amandul, I can go there and buy Contraband, but then I'm out that much more for the job. Uh, well, it, it sucks to suck, as they say. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, <laughs> so that would make That's it my turn. your Sweet. turn. Wow, that was a great card. That should happen more often. That was fun. No. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's what happens what? if, when it's your turn to move, that's what happens if you manage to move it onto somebody else's Firefly. So if you get that card that says the player to your right moves it, and you're right next to it. They land on you, and all that happens. All of that happens. Wow. The Reaver's even worse. Oh, yeah, because they just destroy and kill crew, I'm sure. Yes, we do. <laughs> As you know, shown by his smiling grin. And top hat, almost. Okay. So okay. that would make it your turn. Okay. Well, I am going to move here for one. It's like the. It's like I'm just going to keep flying all day, okay? And number two. Oh, wait. Hold on. Where did I go? I was here, right? Yep. So I went one, one two. two. I'm going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So move the cruiser to my sector. Okay. Yep. This... <laughs> Pay fines, I don't have any warrants. Clear all the warrants. All contraband and fugitives seized. I don't have any contraband or fugitives. I'm just me. You don't have any And I don't have any wanted crew. crew. So really, it's it's actually a win-win for me because guess what? I've got a lot of fuel. <sighs> what am I gonna do with this fuel? Uh, now, since he's solid with Harkin, he could just sell it all on, because now it's, it's gonna be good. Action. All right, well, since they've already stopped me here, uh, instead of pay just working for $200, I'm gonna go like this, one, Two, a three, and a four hundred dollars, please. That's what I will be doing. Yeah, no, I'll just, I'll just get back a one hundred. It must be nice to have all that money. It is, it is really, really. If this was real, it'd be great right now. You know, just pay all my bills. I can, yeah, you I know, smuggle. Gas. Yeah. <laughs> gas is killing us. Oh. All right. Well, obviously, I didn't get very far with that burn. So uh, on to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you gotta go back to it. I gotta burn. I gotta you don't have him. to. You can, oh, wait, you can, can just mosey, mosey. Okay, I'm gonna mosey the two. Okay. I'm gonna get to Amandul. Do I even have enough to buy what I need? I don't. You can get one. I can get one, but that's not enough. So I've got to uh, either find a new job, which I can do. Or, or work. work. <laughs> Whoa, we're in a tight spot. <laughs> How's my hair? <laughs> that's right. Well, what is under that cap? I don't even know if you have any hair. Hmm. Skull. But you could have hair. Maybe like a top knot? Yeah, right. I mean, grew right, grew right through right through the bone. Right <laughs> through the bone. Ponytail. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and work. Okay. Here's your measly $200. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> your turn, good sir. Well, I am just going to keep on flying. So here we go. I'm going to go one. One. Uh, yeah, we'll keep flying. And two to Albion. Two. I gotta move this guy. You don't want to move it? No. Okay. No. That's fine. So I am in Albion right now. I'm not gonna move anymore because I am going to 
Finish this up here, says get two Albion, White Sun, deliver three cargo to get paid. I need to get my $1,900. Oh, okay. uh, I just need it. So I'm going to be doing this, and I am solid again with an Duel, which doesn't really matter. Do I just hold it onto it? Just make yeah, it stack? Up. It's just, okay. Yeah, there are some where you have to get so many jobs done per person, ah, okay. and that's why you keep them with you. Got it. So I need $1,900. let us just do this. We're doing first time in the captain's this. chair, but there are several. And if you get the expansions, tons. And if you get bored of those, look online. People have made their own, and they're quite fun. Wow. Including several co-op ones, which are actually pretty fun. Oh, co-op would be actually exciting. I'd like that. Yeah. Okay, so I have moved. I have been paid. I am good with Amandul. Again, He's he just loves me. I'm a great client of his. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Working for him. I'm, Employee, I guess, not client. I'm getting all my stuff stolen. Well... I hope the Reavers get you. I want to see that. I Let's go. Well, Fine. maybe your cousin has a bone to pick with you. <laughs> get it? <laughs> bone to pick with <laughs> Okay, that was Such really bad. Man. Yeah. Okay. Knock on, uh, not, okay, knock on skull or something. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and work. Again? Yeah. Oh, well, here you go. Here's your 200 bucks. Okay. I'm going to keep 100, give you the rest, and get my two contraband. Ah, he got it back. Wait, how much is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and a thousand. Okay, I can get one contraband. Oh, you should be able to get two, right? It's 1,200. Contraband. Oh, contraband's five. Okay, yeah, no, the one cargo. Yeah, that is, I did the math right the first time. Yes, so yes, you did. You had trouble with math this round. <laughs> okay, I That's got not my been two good contraband. Day. I did have to work first. Those are my two actions. Okay. Please proceed into uh, border space. No, I, I don't need to go there yet. So I'm going to move up here for, well, I guess... You know what? I'm gonna since I'm already out of planet, I'm gonna work. I need the money. Do you? Yes, yes, I do. I need the money, and uh, we will start moving. Okay. Juan, I'm gonna keep flying. Keep flying. Two. Keep flying. I'm gonna keep flying and to Athens in the outer border space. Here we go. All right. If you have a pilot, nav hazard asteroid. If you have a pilot, keep flying. Otherwise, spend one fuel and Leaf keep on flying. The wind. Or I take the long way around, full stop. You know what? You don't have a pilot, do you? I don't, but I've got the fuel, so I'm just gonna spend a fuel. Here you go. I think that's my first fuel I've spent this whole game. I told you to keep a couple. It's pretty amazing. Okay, Shouldn't so have. I did. <laughs> and for my second, please no, please no. Family dinner. Ah, well, I've got a whole disgruntled crew. I could, yeah, you know, feed them. Do the same thing I did last time, or just not, and I'm good. You know, I'm gonna still have the dinner with myself. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. With my by myself. Okay. okay. And that's all I can do. That's all you can do. Okay, I have to get moving. So let's see here. His eyes are a little sunken and it's hard for him to see sometimes. He has to, you know. I'm going to mosey two. One, two. I'm going to start another job. Ah. Well, okay. All right. Load three cargo. One, a two, a three. All nice. right. There's my two actions. Wow. Now. Now, I'm already there. Like, it says, there. let's be real. Okay, look, let's look at goal three. I just have to get the first player who travels to Ezra with two gold tokens and then pays the bank 6,000 wins the game. You own your ship free and clear. So, that being said, I have not one gold token, but I have the two gold tokens. All I need to do is pay the 6,000. You know, I've been spending a lot of. Nope, actually I have not. I have so much cash overflowing. I could even give it to you if I wanted to. But you're on the other side of space, so it doesn't really matter. Here's my 6,000 that I'm going to be spending as I am actually not going to move through space. I'm just going to mosey on over there, not risk that because, you know, who would want to do that? Yeah, um, me. And I own my ship free and clear. I've paid it off. I have officially won this round, this won scenario. the game. Now, I have got to know, because normally you encounter <laughs> these things so fast, I was relying on us encountering them a couple of times. Usually per game, you'll encounter these things several and times. And nothing happened. And it only happened to me once, but I've got to know. No? The very next card. Kill all passengers and fugitives. Holy cow. Does that include me? No. Passengers okay. and fugitives being these guys again on these tokens. Oh, those. Uh, that's right. That's okay. right. Kill all passengers and fugitives. Kill one crew, but if I'm one the only seven, crew... you kill two crew. Eight plus, you kill one crew and evade. So both times, you have to kill some crew. 
or Ugh. requires pilot and mechanic spend one fuel evade, which brings you to a full stop, but you move by one. Ugh. Yeah, that could have been fun. Yeah. Oh, so in this case, like you always have to have one person, right? Because this is like who you are, right? That's you why have it to is have so a... risky not to have a crew. He got so lucky. No, I'm Nandy, <laughs> man. I'm Nandy. One more. <laughs> I'm telling you, you do your due diligence and you work well. You do jobs for, especially Ammon. He just pays really, really well. Yeah, he gives you all the money, and then he basically just pays for your ship. So that was amazing. I feel like we didn't even like scratch the surface. You in this have game. not scratched the surface at all of this game. That is the oh my gosh. first experience. A lot of fun, uh, especially the more players you get because it's not just between two people, but while two people are going, you can kind of like if somebody's getting ahead, you can kind of conspire against them to try and land on their ship. And I can see where that could get real if, fun. If the deck is too big, you can fly through knowing they're going to have to to try and lower it. Just, <laughs> I mean, just so many different things you can do uh, to try and undercut people to get ahead. On top of that, the different scenarios you have some of them are so cutthroat other ones are just have you going all over the place i mean just so much fun um, and you said the base game comes like this was just one of the scenarios right this there's is like the base game and the base game comes with i believe five scenarios so five different scenarios there just with the base game you said there's like what three four different major expansions and then yeah. tiny there's decks three and or stuff. four different additional boards <sighs> same size as this one they just they connect exactly and they go out from there and you'll have one that goes, you know, you'll have some missions that go all the way from one to the other. And then you have individual box sets that increase the amount of cards that you get. One of the ones Dang. I got actually gives you merchants. So you can look at jobs. If you get the merchant on your ship as one of your crew, you can look at jobs further away. It, it increases the amount of jobs and all of the items. So, I mean, it's just it's called Breaking Atmo. One of the best ones is why I got it. Uh, but this game is, is super fun. And like I said, one of those that you normally play on the living room floor while you're eating and watching the movie together. Fun to go through the motion. Yeah, it's, it's in my tops. We already did a top 10 video. Link yeah, that link, up ahead. Wait, if, wait, that, and, but, and, no. <laughs> whatever it ends up. Mosquito. Uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, this barely did not make it because he only got to play it for about 10 minutes, so we had to cut it out. He didn't have the full experience. Now that I has, still haven't had like the full experience. No. Though, like it was still a lot of fun. Like I liked all the different upgrades that could have happened. Like yeah. there was a lot happening. It was it's it's a lot of fun. Like already, like I'm enjoying this. But I yeah, like I said, as a first time playing it, how how I mean, it, it fares really well. Like I love it. Like I, I can see how there's different strategy, especially as as you've seen over here in his hand. He knew who exactly to get, where they were gonna be, so that he could like build up his crew the way he needed to. Because if I would have encountered anything that required any kind of rolls, I would have been in trouble. I had a hacking rig. He got so like fun. one thing, and like all of the jobs that came up just happened to pay good enough that I could get by. Yeah. But honestly, like scratch the surface. It was like, okay, you, you that's it. That's all I've got. Basically resetting your entire crew <sighs> once per day. And wow. he didn't even have a crew. And I want to say that's probably because the it, this first scenario, scenario was really easy. And it, so it helps get your feet wet. It's also a little bit shorter for your guys to say. Um, <laughs> uh, once you have everybody who knows what they're doing, even the long ones that say three to four hours it really only take 40 minutes. But yeah, super fun game. Yeah, as long as you're like paying attention, I'm sure you can get through it pretty quick too. Yeah, and these but, are still available. Even though the show was forever ago, you can still buy this, all its box sets. Really easy to get I might have to pick it up because this is actually his game. But there you have it for Firefly, the board game. Again, based off of a TV show. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's phenomenal. And uh, as always, like, Subscribe if you like the video and comment down below what you'd like Skeletor or this Reaver here. I don't know what the heck he goes by. If you want him to wear something different, comment down below, best comment or our favorite comment. We'll have him dress as that next. But as you can see right there, Firefly, pick it up. It's a lot of fun. Go watch the show, the movie, Serenity, not Serendipity, get that right. But there you go. Join us next time on Game Night Tonight. Bye.